The lotus is one of the most spectacular plants around. The flower is truly beautiful. It's this very large pink flower. Um, and it also has a lot of uh, cultural and religious significance. But what I love most about the lotus is its unusual ability to heat. I mean, that's what really attracted me to it in the first place, this intriguing ability it has, not just to generate heat, but to maintain a constant temperature in its flower, this very unusual thermoregulatory capacity that the lotus has. So we were able to use a technique uh, that involved oxygen isotopes that enabled us to discriminate between the different possible pathways that could have been used to generate heat. The lotus generates heat using a pathway called the alternative pathway of respiration. Uh, this is a pathway that all plants have, but the lotus has a much higher capacity for this pathway than any other plant does. And it's able to switch that pathway on and off, depending on whether it needs to heat or not. The lotus is obviously a very interesting plant. It's also quite ancient in the terms of plant lineages. So it's a very early angiosperm, one of the first flowering plants. So it's interesting to botanists for that reason. And we're also intrigued by how long has this ability to heat been around in the plant kingdom. The heat is about attracting pollinators in um, through releasing these attractive scent compounds. And then also it provides a reward for those pollinators once they've arrived at the flower. They're attracted by the aromas that the flower releases and the pollinators will come into the flower during the day while it's open. It's nice and warm in there. The flower closes up overnight. They remain inside the flower where they have this lovely warm environment that they can run around in and be active, get covered in pollen. It's a bit like a beetle nightclub in there. The significant breakthroughs that we've made with our work with the Lotus um, are leading us now towards asking questions about how it actually senses temperature change. And building an understanding of that could help us understand better how these metabolic processes in humans and other animals uh, work and also in disease situations where those metabolic pathways break down. The lotus is an amazing flower because unlike many other plants, it behaves like mammals and birds and can actually regulate its own heat. Not only that, but it is truly spectacular, a really beautiful flower that produces heat.